Greetings family, we're live on Revolutionary Cam. This is Bomani Taimba, and this is our Senegal and the Gambia roots and culture tour. And we're currently in the Gambia. Today marks the very historical day of our roots tour in the Gambia. We started out from leaving from uh, Denton Bridge and we took our boat down the Gambia River. And we're here at uh, Jufri and Abreda. Earlier, we physically went to James Island which is now called Kunta Kente Island. And here we are in front of this wonderful memorial, uh, let's say Jufri Abreda, home of Kunta Kente. And you're familiar with the name from Alex Ailey Roots, which we want to give enough respect and big ups to Alex Ailey for inspiring people like myself to come and reconnect to the roots and things. Uh, so family, this historical journey has been one of the most impressive reconnection. Only thing that's uh, been a little struggle is the fact that we, don't, we didn't see other tour groups from the African diaspora here learning about the roots. One of the things that we were able to do was able to visit the uh, slave, slave museum, or what I would like to say, stolen African um, uh, museum. Uh, then once we finished that, we were able to go and meet the family and the, um, the descendants of uh, Kunta Kinte. So it was a very powerful and emotional connection. I mean, you can just imagine just all emotions going through you because of uh, what happened to our ancestors being stolen and being tricked into you know, different things that you know the, the European uh, white devils do. They're literally slick set of people where they literally orchestrated a whole movement that decimated our continent. And we saw when we went through the village, the, a lot of the people were gone. And based on that, it's, it's what we tell people, some of our best people were taken from the continent. So we also deal with a level of brain drain today, where some of our best minds are now leaving by choice from the continent. So we're here to reconnect to our roots, and beyond reconnecting to our roots, we're to instill a purpose of why we should come back to the African continent. We showed many things as far as business and investment and things that's needed uh, on the continent. And when I mean the continent, I'm talking about the whole Africa, but specifically what we've been talking about is Senegal and even more specifically since we're doing Gambia, Gambia. Uh, a lot of mangoes, a lot of opportunity, a lot of land, uh, a lot of different things you can literally just open your mind to. But the thing of it is, none of this will really make sense until you really connect and see what we're talking about. So we did our best to show you a whole lot of documentation. And I just want to show my face and show my energy because uh, most of the time I'm behind the camera and what my brother was just doing is showing you the colors of our shirt and from our pants all the way down to the shoes it's the colors of red, black, green and gold uh, colors of our, our pan-African energy and we uh, like to say the red is for the blood of our ancestors the green is for our land, the black for our people and the yellow or gold is for the resources that's been consistently stolen on the African continent to enrich everyone else but we have got to be organizing ourselves to a point to where we literally realize that black corporate economics is the way to go. Because the only way this situation was pulled off without content being hijacked is the fact that other powers to be organized themselves and work, work us over. So now us as Africans on the continent and Africans in the diaspora must come together full-fledged, stop making reasons and stop giving excuses why we can't do this and can't do that. Uh, so family, walk with me to what I'm going to show you, which is never again and explain why never again. Follow me over here, please. Just follow us. So family, these are the chains that's been, bro that's been broken. So what we say, even when we're in Ghana, Elmina, Cape Coast Dungeon, is never again. And never again is simple and easy to say. But you're not dealing with civilized people who, who are just going to understand never again means anything. We have got to corporately put our money together, our energy together, resources together, our network together and literally build a future to build a better operation for our children. We live in the African continent. We have everything that we need. You know, we, we, we should never, no, none of us should go without water, electricity, internet, uh, food, anything, because everything is here. And what it takes is more of our cooperative minds coming together. We have modern day technology that we can use to make things work. And for me personally, family, is that simple. 
We, you know, we have to be willing to put the work in and get the work done. So family, uh, enough said and just want you just to see again the energy of what we have because next year, April uh, 2022, we have another Senegal and the Gambia Roots and Culture Tour and, it, and what we're showing you is all of the highlights so you can be clear on what we're connecting you to so you can be prepared. So family, uh, peace, black power, strong energy and uh, we're going to do this strong. Let's come together, reach out to me at any time on our website africaforthafricans.org and we need more of our energy of our brothers and sisters from the diaspora to connect. So please family, it's our time to do something that we need to do and take full control of our destiny in our hands uh, so our children will have what they need without, ha without having to depend on the, the, the powers of be, the oppressors and the slave masters. So family, we're going to keep it strong and we're going to keep this going. And we said, 